Michael Owen for people of the internet, it's your boy Left here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to look stylish in a school uniform. Guys, if you want to support me and help me get a new camera, just hit that subscribe button, that's all you have to do. And now I'm going to tell you the order in which we're going to do this video. So first we're going to go over pants, then shoes, then shirt, then jacket, and other accessories. Guys, stay tuned, this video is really good, this video is really interesting, probably better than any of the other ones on YouTube. And let's get into it. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with school pants and the options that you and everyone else has and how to be a little bit more stylish than the people around you. So guys, to start off, we have some American Eagle pants. Obviously, they're slim fitted at the bottom and at the top. Not so much the top, so I can have, obviously not so much at the top, so I can have room to breathe and move. So guys, as you can see, slim fitted pants, those are the ones you need. Obviously, you don't have to go to American Eagle, they're a bit expensive. Um, I suggest Old Navy, it's way better and it's way cheaper. Anyway guys, let me show you those pants and you can decide which ones you'd like more. So guys, how to look good in a school uniform? Pants don't really matter, the brand doesn't really matter. I suggest Old Navy, they're super cheap, still good quality. Really, the only thing that really matters is how they fit you, and these fit great, just like the other ones. A lot of them are the same, but a lot of them aren't, um, guys. So, so the first thing you have to do in order to look stylish in a school uniform is get some fitted pants. That's that. Let's move on to the shirt. So, guys, at my school, we're forced to wear embroidered shorts with the Z representing Zachary on them. Obviously, this is just a normal shirt. I didn't make this one long lined or too big, like I usually do with them most of my other outfits just because the next step is going to require some sort of a smaller shirt some room to breathe and on top of that this shirt is extremely comfortable but it's not the only one so guys super sorry I know how unprofessional this is but I could not find my other shirt for some reason um I have about two of them and I just couldn't find any of them but basically what I did was buy a dry fit shirt and put them in um logo over here they're extremely some come thumb come thumb comfortable same size everything they fit great except it's a bit more loose and you know it's not as hot and heavy as this cotton um ask ask your guidance counselor if you can do that guys anyway it was literally just a dry fit shirt not one too tight it was just a dry fit shirt and um Come, 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 and it had the logo on it, guys. So they're allowed, they're comfortable, they're nice. Ask if you can get one. So, guys, the next thing I believe I said we would go over our shoes. And since we are in prison and forced to wear school uniforms, this is where you can really speak for yourself and express your voice and your clothing. So guys, for this year, I copped some Wheat Air Force Ones. These things retail for about 200 I copped them for $35. Honestly, guys, you shouldn't spend that. You don't have to spend that much money on shoes. Um, you can get some off of eBay. Uh, multiple other sites and places that you can get extremely cheap shoes that look great. The shoe, but as you can see, this sort of just says, I'm a dog, cool, casual person. You know, it's whatever, guys. So I really like these. I think they'll look better with the other colored pants, but... Those are some of the shoes you can wear. Obviously, they don't have to be Air Force Ones. Obviously, they don't have to be Nike. It's all up to you guys. Whatever you want to say, whatever statement you want to make, that's all up to you guys. And now I've got my Hype Beast Killers on, guys. TK Suppers. Really like these shoes. I think I have another video of them out on my channel. Anyway, I just go over these shoes and what they are on my channel. Go check that out. Subscribe once again to support me. And you'll be here since the beginning, guys. So when we get really big, you have been here since the beginning. And you can say that. Anyway, guys, these are the TK Suppers. I absolutely, once again, just saying, a cool, casual person. Really like these shoes because of how high top they are and my jeans just sort of fit in there. Anyway, guys, these are really nice. Really like them. That's pretty much it for shoes, guys. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which ones you get. It's just what they're saying about you. I suggest staying away from low cuts just so your, your jeans look better on them. But honestly, if you are wearing fitted jeans, then that doesn't really matter. And you can wear as low cut shoes as you want. Anyway, let's get into the next part of this video. So guys, sorry for not wearing these shoes in this video, by the way. It doesn't really matter. I'll show you the entire outfit at the end. But guys, the next part is literally the most major, the largest and most important part. It's just like the shoes, but even bigger. Guys, it's the jacket. So most people don't think about this, but the only other customization option, other than your shoes and belt and other accessories that are allowed at your school are jackets and you can wear pretty much whatever jacket you want as long as it's in the color code so guys I'm gonna show you how much of a difference jackets make and how wonderful these things are obviously they're gonna make you a bit uncomfortable but you always want to sacrifice comfort for style remember that guys go by that quote live by that quote now let me put on the first jacket 
So guys, it's still pretty hot out, and I'm not sure if you're confident enough to rock one of these yet, but I literally can't wait until winter when it gets cooler so I can rock this thing. Had it for a few years, and now that I've become confident enough in my um, fashion and what to wear, I feel like I'm ready to wear this thing, guys. So, it's all up to you whether or not you like this. Once again, the jacket's saying something about you. This one's just saying... I'm loud and fashionable, guys. So, it's a long coat, obviously. Same color as the jeans. I like to have a lot of stuff the same color. It's going to be the same color as the Wii Air Force Ones, the shoes. So, guys, I really enjoy this thing. I've been wanting to rock it for a while, and the shoes just went perfectly with it, so it seemed like a perfect outfit. Um, I'm not sure if I want to wear this with it, because that's even closer to the same color. Pretty much going to be all the same color. It's going to be the same colored outfit. Really like this, though, guys. It's long line, pretty much, and that's pretty much what all long coats are, guys. So, anyway, really enjoyed this piece. Let me show you the next. So, guys, if that was too much for you, I have a simple Route 21 sweatshirt. This one's sort of hot. It's less um, heavy as the other one, but I really like this one, guys. Um, I actually can fit it now, but when I bought it, it was really big, so it was pretty much Kanye Yeezy season. You know what I'm talking about, but now it's fitted, guys. Uh, I liked it better the other way, but it looks wonderful still, guys. As you can see, jackets make a humongous difference in your um, clothing and attire, guys. So, turn around real quick. Looks wonderful. It was about $20, I believe. Route 21. Guys, honestly, Route 21 is a great place to go for clothing. I think I mentioned this in a few of my other videos. Probably going to have a Route 21 drop coming pretty soon. So, guys, once again, subscribe. Look forward to that. Let's get into the next jacket. Sorry if I sound tired in this video, guys. I don't know why, but... For some reason I'm getting tired. I mean, I'm out of shape or something. Next one we have, guys, is the Nike jacket. As you can see, the little Nike check right there. But anyway, guys, this is a lightweight jacket. Obviously, unlike the other ones, this one won't really require that much. Um, it to be that cool to wear it, guys. You can wear it open or you can wear it closed. Also, enjoy the turtleneck because we can't wear hoodies at our school anymore. Not sure if it's the same for you guys. But it's turtleneck, so it goes really high up. Really like that part of it. And that's pretty much it for the jackets, guys. So the only really other thing we have to go over is possibly the belt and the jacket. And that really doesn't matter to anyone, guys. No one's looking at your belt. No, it doesn't really matter. It's just to hold you up. You can literally use a string that's allowed at your school. It's whatever, guys. Go to the thrift store and pick up a belt for like $2. It's whatever. And the last thing we have to go over, the last thing we have to choose is very, very minor accessories. Obviously, these... <laughs> Obviously, these sunglasses aren't allowed at my school, but if they're allowed at yours, feel free to rock them, guys. Feel free to make a statement with your glasses. Guys, it doesn't matter what other people think. Anyway, guys, if glasses aren't your thing or you don't want to rock these, then go check out my review on some, on some rings from Amazon, guys. These are fresh, and they're a little thing on your body that's going to make you look a bit better than you would without them. Anyway, guys, if you don't enjoy that, you can go to watches. You can go to hats, it's all up to you guys, it's all up to what your school allows. And really accessories is just another thing. So guys, the outfits all fit together with the tags, including the tags. But anyway guys, this is the outfit all together. As you can see, looks great, fitted pants, stylish back, and pretty much all the way down to the bottom, the same color, the same style, it's all up to you guys. The end result is all up to you guys, and it's whatever you want to make it. So once again, speak your mind with your fashion guys. Don't be afraid to go out of the ordinary. Just stay away from dresses. No Jane Smiths or Young Thugs needed. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Once again, if you want to support me and help me get a new camera or something of this nature, then hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. It's been your boy Left. Now go speak your mind through your clothes. Jacob, so the beat.